Good morning. It's Sunday morning again, and I am very excited to be here. Uh, it, I, I thought this morning that during this period, this get, um, before the top of the hour, that I would surprise use some oils. And because, have you ever noticed how around holiday periods particularly, that is the really period of big illness and disease, blues, colds, all of us not feeling as good as we often do. So what I'm going to talk about a little bit during these few minutes is stress, stress in our lives. We are, get very stressed and we push ourselves beyond our limits. So Stress Away is a great oil to keep with you, a great blend and use over and over and over again to support you in having a better immune system. Actually, through the years, the one thing that I have read over and over again and that I have witnessed for myself in my body and in the body of people that I know is that as we are stressed, we weaken our immune function. So one of the simplest things you can do is to apply Stress Away and any other essential oils you happen to have. Those of you who remember um, uh, Gary saying often, I'm sorry, I was just making sure my alarm does not go off and, and bother me again. Um, Gary always said, if you don't have what I say or what I suggest, use whatever you have. It's not going to be a detriment and it just may hold exactly the correct molecules that your body needs at this moment. So whatever you have, whatever you have near you right this minute, just apply it. Breathe it in. We often get so caught up in where do I apply the oils on my body, which one, which one goes where, when the actuality is wherever we apply them, they will absorb into the bloodstream and go wherever they're needed throughout the entire body. And the quickest way you can get these little molecules into your body, into your bloodstream, working for you is to breathe them in. So don't forget, and that taking that breath is going to also initiate other positive things in your body, not just breathing in the oil, which of course is going to also help to work against the things that you don't choose to have in your body. So. Have I said enough about that? I think I'll have some more stress away. Okay. How many of you are using stress away? I can't actually read your comments while I'm talking. You know, I tend to be very focused on what I'm saying and I forget to, um, if I start reading, I forget where, what I'm talking about. So, one of my senior moments, I guess. At any rate, what we're going to talk about today is using the holograms. And first of all, talk about what a hologram is, or actually, it's just a packet of information. Um, it is kind of like an essential oil blend rather than a single oil. And those of you who have been using your rainbow healing cards know that it's the single oils that anchor all of the glyphs, all 10 of the glyphs in the rainbow healing. So I talk so much about the journey of the glyphs. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about creating or taking just a little bit of time to focus on creating our safe place in which to heal, our own place where we can be fully connected with the source and 
in a state of harmony, hearing our true guidance directly from the source. So this process can be tedious or it can be fun. So I'm going to use fun because I choose to bring more and more fun and joy into my life. If you don't happen to have the blend fun, be sure and use joy or use both of them. I'm also intending to let my inner child play because some of us have not ever been playful in our lives. That was an element that has been missing much of our lives as we were workaholics. So it requires a lot of focus for me to play and to allow my inner child to play. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to do that quick review about the journey of the glyphs because we never, ever, ever stop focusing on that. It's like the journey of the glyphs are the alphabet or the numbers in math. As a former math teacher, I think in terms of numbers, we first have to learn the letters or the numbers before we can put them together. So just by way of a reminder, I divide them kind of into four groups. I've got my cards here. And the first one is to get things started, to get rid of the blocks. The second one is to start building our own unique energy flow. And the third one is to take off our masks. We all put on masks, especially during times when we're with a lot of other people we don't see often. Would you agree? We want to be accepted by 